Today, I am going to explain an English language neo noir mystery thrill survival horror movie, 47 Meters, released in the year 2017. The movie is about two adventure seeking sisters who get trapped inside a cage at the bottom of ocean while trying to experience cage diving on their vacation. But before we begin to tell you this amazing story, please make sure to subscribe our channel so that you are updated with all the new exciting movie recaps we release in the coming weeks and beware of the spoilers. The movie opens with two friends, Lisa and Kate, having a good time on their vacation, and Kate scares Lisa while she is resting in a pool. Kate thanks Lisa at dinner for bringing her on vacation and mentions Lisa's boyfriend, Stuart, who is not with them. Kate promises to make the trip as memorable as possible. Later that night, Kate does not find Lisa on her bed, and upon checking, she finds her crying in a corner. Kate approaches her and asks the reason for being sad, and Lisa informs her that she has lied to her about Stuart, saying that he is busy with his work, but the truth is that he has broken up with her because she is a boring person. She adds that she wanted to show herself to be fun by coming with Kate on these vacations. Kate calms her and leads her to a party, stating that she has been waiting for this moment the whole time. They have fun at the party and befriend two men, Javier and Benjamin. Lisa and Kate spend their entire night with them, and in the morning, Lisa contacts Stuart to inform him that she is missing him, but he replies that he has collected his stuff and will soon leave her. After that, Kate and Lisa are at dinner with Javier and Benjamin when they inform the girls about scuba diving and their experiences watching the sharks up close. Kate finds the idea of scuba diving interesting, and after a little struggle, she manages to persuade Kate of this by asking her to think about the pictures. The next morning, the girls show up at the location, and Benjamin informs them that he did not expect them to come. Javier and Benjamin lead the girls to the boat and introduce them to Captain Taylor, a good friend of theirs who has helped them with scuba diving many times. Lisa gets worried again and Kate encourages her to try the cage diving for once and makes her realize that a dull person never does scuba diving. Finally, they arrive at the location where they will dive into the water and have a good time watching sharks circling them. After a while, Javier and Benjamin enter the cage and dive into the water while Kate finds Lisa nowhere. She finds Lisa scared in the washroom and informs her that she is not going to look fun to Stuart if she returns with some pictures of the boat in the toilet. After that, they get suited up, and Taylor asks them to get ready as the boys are about to return. After the boys leave the cage, Taylor guides Lisa about the oxygen cylinder bars and asks them to inform him if the bars reach 50. Finally, the girls get inside the cell and dive into the water. Kate complains about finding no sharks in the water, and Taylor informs them that they are going to bait the sharks. Lisa and Kate discover cage diving to be fun, and they try to capture some pictures using Javier's camera, but it accidentally slips from their hands. As Lisa bends to get the camera, a giant shark appears and engulfs it. Suddenly, two huge sharks start circling the cage, and they feel a shock in the cage. Lisa gets scared and asks Taylor to pull them back. Kate is not ready yet, but Taylor starts pulling them up, and when they reach the surface, the cage slips down due to some issues with the crane holding it. The girls keep dwindling and eventually get knocked out before hitting the ground. The death meter displays a reading of 47 meters. Kate finds Lisa bleeding from her neck and awakens her. Lisa initially gets scared, and Kate calms her, stating that she needs to be relaxed, otherwise she would lose her oxygen faster. Then they notice disrupting voices from Taylor on the radio, and Kate decides to get into the radio transmission range so that they may call Taylor for their aid. Lisa is very scared, and Kate mentions that she will get out of the cage. When Lisa decides to leave, she finds that the cage door has been blocked. She tries to leave the cage, but her mask gets stuck, and she thinks of unmasking her to get out. Lisa tries to stop her but Kate makes her way out of the cage safely and gets her BCD back. Kate swims a few meters up and finally contacts Taylor, revealing she is scared and inquiring for help as soon as possible. Taylor learns that she has only 55 bars of oxygen left at a depth of 47 meters, so he requests Kate return to the cage as it is the only place safe from sharks and forbids them from swimming to the surface as she will get bent if they do so. Kate returns to Lisa and informs her that Taylor has promised to send Javier to hook them up. 
Lisa gets excited, thinking that finally, it is going to end for them. The girls sit together when Kate asks Lisa what she meant by she was only good at her relationship with Stuart when she said this at night when she was sad. Lisa mentions that Kate is a fun-loving girl and boys want to be around her, and the only thing Lisa had more than her was her relationship with Stuart. Suddenly, they hear the boat walking away, and the girls panic. Kate decides to go out and contact Taylor again, but when she goes out, a shark attacks her, and she must return to save her life. Kate asks Lisa to check her oxygen level, revealing that she has only 30 bars left, meaning she has only 10 to 20 more minutes of oxygen. The girls get worried, and then they feel a torch looking for them. The girls comprehend that it is Javier looking for them, and this time Lisa gathers her senses and encourages to go out and lead Javier to the cage. Kate agrees and guides Lisa about her cylinder and asks her never to head directly to the surface, no matter what happens. Lisa starts moving towards the light, and on her way, a shark follows her while Kate guides her to hide. Lisa hides in a cave, but the shark keeps attacking her, but in vain. After the shark leaves, Lisa comes out and reaches the end of the hill, where she finds no way to move ahead. Lisa keeps moving and eventually finds the light. She is looking for Javier, and suddenly Javier appears in front of her, asking her to return to the cage. Javier is then attacked and killed by the shark. Lisa gets scared and does not recall the way to the cage. She decides to make a quick decision as she has lost contact with Kate. Lisa swims back, and suddenly, the half-eaten dead body of Javier appears in front of her. Lisa finds no gas in his cylinder, but she gets the winch and finally rushes back to the cage. Lisa connects the winch to the cage and swims upward to contact Taylor. She informs Taylor about Javier's demise and adds that she has tied the winch to the cage. Taylor asks her to get inside the cage as he pulls them upward. Lisa gets inside, and the girls become excited as the cage starts being pulled upward. When they reach 29 meters, the wire starts breaking, and when Taylor tries to calm them, the wire detaches and makes the girls fall again to the bottom. Lisa gets trapped inside the cage while Kate leaves to talk to Taylor. Lisa re-establishes the connection with Taylor, who asks them to be patient and states that he is going to send some extra cylinders of oxygen to them. Taylor mentions that changing the cylinder may increase the chances of nitrogen narcosis, so he wants them to assure him that none of them is hallucinating. After a while, Kate notices that the oxygen cylinders have arrived, so she rushes to get them. Kate gets the cylinders and notices that Taylor has sent some flares for them. Kate changes her cylinder, and a shark follows her as she heads back to the cage. Lisa keeps guiding her to stay down. But as Kate gets up to pass the cylinder to Lisa, the shark attacks and takes her away. Lisa starts crying, but then she notices that the oxygen level has fallen, so she picks up her arrow gun and uses it to pick up the second oxygen cylinder. Finally, she reaches the cylinder and switches, before running out of oxygen. As she changes the cylinder, Lisa listens to Kate, asking for help, stating that sharks have surrounded her. Lisa asks her to stay strong and she gets out of the cage after a little struggle. Lisa finds Kate and notices that her BCD has been damaged, so she talks to Taylor and informs him that they are coming straight up to the surface. Taylor disagrees at first, but allows it after learning about Kate's condition and asks them to swim slowly. The girls keep swimming using the flares, and when they reach near the surface, Taylor asks them to stop for five minutes so that the nitrogen may leave their bodies. The girls wait for a while, but the sharks start circling them. They use their last flare and finally safely make their way to the surface. Taylor and his team rescue the girls, and when Lisa is being picked up, the shark drags her into the water, but she manages to hurt the shark's eye and gets free. Lisa and Kate are seen on the boat when Lisa notices a strange thing. The blood from her hand is floating in the air instead of falling. She murmurs that they have finally made their way to the boat when Taylor reveals that she has been hallucinating the whole time. Lisa panics after finding herself still under the water, but Taylor comforts her by saying that the ocean rescue team has arrived and they are going to save her. Soon we see a team of ocean rescue divers who find Lisa trapped inside the cage and rescue her. On her way up to the surface, Lisa keeps laughing and the movie ends here. Overall, 47 Meters Down is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, 
Don't forget to subscribe as that's the only way we can keep making these fantastic recaps and like this video. Let us know in the comments section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching and stay safe and healthy.